I woke up today to the sad news that my sweet friend and fan, Gayla Dugan, had passed away. She was with me since pretty much the beginning of my YouTube channel. She had a family member in the Chattanooga area and it was always our plan to meet one day in Chattanooga and hang out together and she wanted to go on a ghost hunt with me. So I was like, sure. <clears throat> she never did make it out to Chattanooga. What I most remember about her is her friendship, loyalty, and the love she had for her family members. She loved them dearly and when they would pass away, it would absolutely crush her. I don't broadcast this because I didn't want, you know, a hundred people asking me to do this, but she had asked me each time someone she loved passed away if I would do a spirit box session for her. I would go in my backyard, set up my camera, and try to reach out to that particular loved one, and then I'd tell her my interpretation of what was going on. I loaded these as unlisted videos and sent her the links so her and her family members could watch. I said a prayer for her just before I turned this on, and I believe she's here with me. I read off the questions you sent me, Gayla, so she would know what to answer and uh, basically got all that started and going. Um, have my spirit box here and I'm ready to go. But I just wanted to start off by saying um, so terribly sorry for your loss. You know, do what you gotta do to get through it, but just don't ever forget, they are not gone. She is not gone. She will always be here. She will always be a part of your life. You will see her again one day. And you have that hope. You have that hope and you have that knowledge. So, don't give up on that. Don't give up on your own life. She wouldn't want you to. She would want you to, to keep going, to keep persevering, to keep being who you are for her. And, you know, if you, if you can't do it, right now for you you don't have the energy or strength to do it for you do it for her um oh, I'm too I just got cold chills all over my arms while I was telling y'all this I feel like this is what this is what she's wanting me to tell y'all this to bring you down um did she call her daddy papa I mean I don't know I'm getting a papa in there somewhere but anyway She's, she just wants you to be happy. She's really worried about y'all being happy. Y'all worried about her. <laughs> and if she's happy where she is, and she's worried about y'all. Are y'all happy where you are right now? Because I'm fine. I'm on the other side. I'm with my loved ones. And y'all are the ones dealing with this shit. That's what I feel like she's saying. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if she cussed or not, but that's, <laughs> I may be totally off base about that, but I feel like that's what she's saying. For the loss that you all have had, not only with, um, with Lori, but with Crystal as well. And I don't doubt a bit that they're together. I just don't think you could, <clears throat> you could keep parents away from children in the afterlife. They've got to be able to find each other. <laughs> You know, as long as they've moved on, which I believe in this case, um, they have moved There were several intros she did for me over the years, and a ghost story she shared. She's always sweet, and she always wanted to do something to help my channel out. She was a sweetheart. Hello, my name is Gayla Dugan, and I live in Inbowden, Arkansas, and you're watching Jessie's Histories and Mysteries. Please go like and subscribe to her YouTube videos, please. 
you won't be disappointed. And Jesse, I cannot wait to go meet you, girl. I'm, I can't wait. I'm so excited to go see you so I can go with you and go on an um, investigation. Thank, thank you, and I love you. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Gayla Dugan, and I'm from M. Bowden, Arkansas, and you are watching Jessie's Histories and Mysteries. Please go like and subscribe to her videos. I know you will like them. She's an awesome person. And Jessie, I can't wait to come and meet you sometime. I love you. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. If you will, please go like and subscribe to Jessie's Paranormal Adventures, please. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about my ghost story. It's not long, it's short, but it's something that happened to me when I was five years old to eight years old. When I was five years old, I it was about my mother. She was sick and had ovarian cancer. And uh, we were just at home one night. Well, we was at the hospital. Came home and it was getting late. And I noticed something over me. And I looked up. This is when I was five years old. And I remember it like it was yesterday. And it's true. And I looked up and I see my mama. And I know it was her. Because I remember looking up at her and saying mama. And I was trying to, you know, get to her and... And she just stood there, looked at me, and smiled. And a little bit after, not very long, I noticed her. Some, she tapped, was reaching down, and she kissed me on my cheek. And I, I could feel a spark on me. And it wasn't long. I looked up, and she had disappeared. Her apparition left. Before she left, she was, she was waving at me like this. And I was waving at her. And, she, and then that's when her apparition left. And she descended away. Uh, and of course I cried because I miss my mama. You know. And then there was when I was eight years old. I came to this thing. Because I always, you know, I slept in my own room by myself. And I was living with my grandparents. That was a, and, and I don't know. It, I had some weird things happen to me. But when I was eight, I noticed I had went to sleep, and I woke up and looked down at the end of my feet. There was two heads floating down the end of my bed. It was very scary. I was scared to death. I was, I froze. I didn't know what to do. I was scared. And my grandparents all didn't like me going in their room because, you know, that's, they wanted me to sleep in my own room. So I was so scared. But I laid there thinking it would go away, and it didn't. I woke back up thinking I shut my eyes and woke back up and looked down. They were still down there floating down into my bed. So I didn't know what. And then a little bit after that, I just was so scared. I just laid there, went back to sleep. And then the next, when I woke up, it was the next morning, which I was very scared. I didn't know what, what, why I was having that or what, why they were there. So I don't know. It was just really scary to me. But anyway, that's my story. And I know it's not long, it's short. But please do go like and subscribe to Jessie's Paranormal Adventure, please. She's a good person and good, has really good videos. And thank y'all. Bye. God bless. Bye. I've already said some prayers. I've already asked for my guides, angels and ancestors, and ascended masters to come forward. And I've also connected to Gayla and asked her would she come. That I was making this video to try to contact her. So Gayla, you know how to use this. I'm gonna turn it on.
Hey. Is this guy that we are speaking to? Gaila, you here? heartbroken to hear about your passing. But I know you were happy on the other side. Are you with your loved ones you miss so much in life? that are still here. I love. You love them, don't you? longer in any pain. What is it like on the other side? Say hi to my mother too, Galen. 
Her name is Teresa Mary Wilson. sitting here God bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye. Wow. That was something. 